Good morning. Sorry, I just woken up. Um, it is now 10 o'clock. I slept in later because I stayed up late. I was... Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, last night was election night here in New Zealand. So I was... I wanted to see the results. <laughs> so I stayed up. But, um... I mean, looking back on it now, I probably could have gone to bed at like 10 and it wouldn't have changed much, but that's fine. Um, I was going to go and try and put the washing out because it, I was like, oh, it's sunny, it's brilliant, like we'll get everything dried. And then I look over and there's a massive black cloud. And I know, I think last week I took a gamble. Um... But it, according to the forecast, it is meant to rain this afternoon, which does coincide with the big grey cloud. So I think today is not a day for um, taking risks with regards to the weather. I think I'm going to put what I can on the errors um, and then put them out on the deck so that it, well, if it rains, they're still... Like, if the rain doesn't come in at an angle, it'll stay dry. Um, and if it, even if it does, it's easy for me to get in. Rather than it all being on a giant rotary washing line in the middle of the garden. Uh, that will take a bit longer to get in. So, I need to put another load in the tumble. Because yesterday was a big washing day. We had, I had to change the bed sheets. We had that. Towels. Clothes. I also went on a bit of a cleaning spree, so there was like cloths and stuff that I had used for various parts of the house that I didn't really want to use again until I washed them. Um, so there was a lot of stuff to wash just because we do our washing um, at the end of the week, so we can do it all in one go. Um, the downside to that is I then have tons of washing to dry and fold, but I have a load that is already in there that I put in last night, so I need to get that out. One of them is the throw rug that actually goes on the sofa, so that doesn't need folding, it just needs to be moved and put back where it belongs, and the other one's a blanket that I need to fold. Um, and then I'll probably put another load in. Um, just so we can get things going, as it were. But as far as cleaning goes, aside from that and the general kitchen maintenance that you do on a daily basis, um, like, for example, the dishwasher needs unloading, um, that's all the cleaning I've done I need to do today because I did it all yesterday, which feels amazing. The yarn stash needs organising, but I'm not considering that urgent. <laughs> um, can wait a wee bit for that one. But I do actually need to go through that. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, I am moving to the UK at the end of November. Um, I will be in England for about a month. A month and a half oh like a month and a bit month and a half ash get away from that ash get away from the washing sorry come on away from that good girl um and then i will be moving to sorry she just got zoomies randomly and she's attacking a piece of dry grass Um, <laughs> so, yes, I will be in England for the first bit, because I'll be visiting family, and then I'll be moving to Scotland in January to start my studies as an exchange student. Um, so, I mean, that is, I'm at the point at the moment where I am assuming that's the case. I haven't got the official letter yet, um, like, Okay, rewind. Um, I have, from my university, I have 
signed my contract and everything. So as far as Massey are concerned, I'm going. Um, Dundee, however, uh, they are still processing the application. Um, I was speaking to someone uh, and they mentioned that the way universities go, they might say they're processing, but it might just be they're on the it's on the pile and they haven't got to it yet, which could be highly likely. Um, I don't know how many applications they get around this time, but I don't know. So I'm still waiting. Um, but at the same time, um, I have already been pre-approved by Dundee for a pretty significant scholarship. And so I feel pretty safe to assume I'm going. Um, because if they turn me down my general application, then they have to revoke my scholarship and give it to someone else. So, um, yeah, so I'm assuming I'm going because it is very hard to try and work out the logistics when you don't know and you're still waiting. All of that to say is that because of that, I need to sort the yarn stash. Uh, there is some yarn in my stash that I have not used in years. Um, just because, much like with clothes and various other things, tastes change. Um, and so I need to decide, am I keeping it? Am I storing it? Am I giving it away? Am I donating it? Am I giving it to people who I know? There's like two people I know who could use yarn. Um, like, what am I doing with it? And so I really need to go through the stash and figure out, okay, what am I keeping? Because uh, some of it, I think I went through a stage of, and I think we've all done this, because we talk about, you know, uh, uh, yarn being its own hobby. Um, I think I just would see yarn in a charity shop and be like, oh, okay, I'm taking it. So there's some stuff there that I've never used. Um, and if I've, if I've never used it, I'm not going to bring it for two reasons. One, I'm not going to fit it, so it'd be a waste of space, but also it's just not necessary. Um, I'm going to go from living in a three bedroom house to living in university accommodation again. So that's going to be an adjustment. Um... Even though our house is small, it is much bigger than a uni room. So, um, it'll be interesting uh, going, living in a small space again. And I've got to share facilities with flatmates. Because I don't know if it's all UK universities, but it sounds to be pretty common. Instead of having standalone single rooms that we have here, and then everyone shares the facilities, they have flats. So each flat has, say, five or six rooms. You have your own individual room, your own individual bathroom. That is not extra. That's just part of the um, the cost that you pay. Um, however, you share the kitchen and laundry facilities with your flatmates. I think laundry actually you might share with everyone. But kitchen, you share with your flatmates and, like, dining area and front room. And so... You have communal spaces that are just for you and your flatmates, which is actually quite nice because I prefer sharing a bath. Uh, well, I'd rather not share a bathroom, but I, I prefer sharing kitchen with, say, five people than, like, 30 to 50. Because I've done that before, and, I mean, it's fine, but it was frustrating because there were so many people that wouldn't clean up after themselves. Or if everyone decided to dinner at the same time, you had to wait. So. Whereas, I guess for the flat, one, I mean, it's pretty easy to work out who's cooking when. Or you may even cook together. So. It's kind of nice. Yeah, the wind's picking up. It'll be the wind picks up and gets really strong. And then in a couple of hours, it will absolutely downpour. Yeah, 
okay. Definitely not putting it on the line. Anyway, I'm going to have some food. And then once I've eaten and had coffee, I'm going to hang the washing up on the air and put it out on the deck. Just trying to minimise the amount of damp washing in the house because then, like, even if it's only there for a day to dry, you can still, like, you still get the smell. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, there was one. I put washing up inside. Again, it was for like a day. And the next morning I came in and I could smell it. And I don't know if I just have a very sensitive sense of smell because my husband didn't notice it, but I did. Ash has got zoomies. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to go because my tummy is rumbling and I need food. So I will see you a bit later. Sorry, <laughs> just as I was about to speak, I got a cough. Um, it is now two, uh, not two past five, five past two. Um, I've just finished. Okay, I really struggle with the whole hand arm placement thingy. Um, I've just finished editing a vlog. This was Friday's vlog. I was meant to edit this yesterday. Things have been, yeah, all over the place. So, Friday's vlog currently exporting. That's done. Uh, I, I need to do some uni work, so I'm probably going to do that. Um, while this is exporting, and then I'll edit the next video and do that. Um, Food on my face. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to record a podcast today. I've tossed it. I've like tossed it up and thought about it, but I don't have very much to show because pretty much all I've been working on is the MCAL, and so it would be a very short podcast because I don't even have anything really life stuff to share. It's all still the same, really. I'm still waiting, and so. I don't see the point in me trying to record a sit-down podcast when I'll be showing one, maybe two projects, and then that'll be it. Because I don't have any finished objects either. It'll just It's just nothing. So, I'm not going to do a podcast today because I think that won't be particularly interesting. Um, so, instead, I'm going to focus on getting these vlogs up. I'm vlogging today, um, and then hopefully I'll do a podcast next week. Hopefully I'll have more to show, but that is what I'm going to do. Also, I definitely made the right call with the washing. I finished, like, I bought it, I started hanging it up, and then I decided, eh, no, so I took it down, and then put the errors outside and hung it up on those. And when I was hanging it up on the errors, I could feel the drizzle. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, we're under shelter, it's fine. You could possibly stay out there for a little bit longer. Made the right decision. About an hour later, it came absolutely pouring down at an angle. So I had to get washing in, which with it being on errors, it's a lot easier than me having to go out and take everything off individually. And so, yes, the washing is inside, which I don't like, but it's drying. It's not soaked. I didn't get soaked, so I'm happy about that. Um, also, I guess a little bit of knitting update. I won't show it right now because it's on another chair and I'd have to put a spoiler. But I have finally, finally, this morning, finished the first clue of the MCAL. And I've started the second clue. So that's finally happened. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to probably move into the, pardon me, study slash office. And wait, while this is doing its business, I'm going to do some uni work. Um, maybe for a couple of hours, get some of it done. Um, I've got a little bit of catch up to do. Uh, 
and then yeah and then we're into exam season now so like I know for a couple of my classes I know definitely well I think most of them I know kind of what I need to do in order to prep um so I'll do that it's like obviously like review the slides and my notes and then quite often there's actually workshop questions which we did do but they were a while ago that correlate to the topic and so I'm gonna review and then go back and see if I could try to do the question again without looking at the answers and if there's any past questions um and see if I'm on the right track I think that's gonna be the best way to do it there's a couple of classes I'm thinking I'm gonna do flashcards because like for example business law I have a couple of sections that are multi-choice one of them is the Treaty of Waitangi, and so I'm thinking I'll probably go through that chapter in the book and the lecture notes and kind of pull out some key points, I think, um, and put them on flashcards and qu on Quizlet and do those. Um, and so I have some plans of how to study, how to prep, but I just need to do it. Uh, that's the thing, I just got to do it. So... I do have a four hour gap between classes tomorrow, uh, I have class from 8 till 11, yes, and the first class is a two hour class, it's auditing, and we're doing a revision session anyway, I think we're going through an exam paper, so that's good, um, actually it's all revision next week, I think all of my classes are all revision, nice. Okay, that's good. Um, and so it's just going to be revision, revision, revision. There's no, like, teaching next week. So, for example, Wednesday, what would normally be my taxation day, there'll still be a lecture, but it will be a revision lecture. Um, so, that's good. And they don't always end up always being as long. Um, so... Yeah, there's just going to be lots of exam study this week. Um, my hours are pretty much the exact same as last week. Um, so, so I now finish earlier on a Thursday so that I can go to aerobics. But we're not doing aerobics this week. Unless I decide to go by myself, but I don't know. Um, so... If I go, I go. If I don't go, then, I mean, I'll do my normal exercise, but also I might use that hour in a bit to do some more study. Because <sighs> it's just study, study, study from here on out. I've got two weeks until my first exam. First exam's on the 31st. So, I think that's business law. Which probably, out of all of them, is the one that I'm the least freaked out about it's 50 percent so like it's i mean it's still a decent chunk don't get me wrong but it's not like the majority of my marks it's half of my marks so i'm a little less stressed about that i think the second one is taxation and that one not feeling good about it's not my strong subject it's 70 percent um so that will definitely be a focus so i think once i get my business law flashcards um sorted i mean i can just do those like on the bus and things like that and then the focus will be on the other three primarily taxation followed by auditing followed by financial accounting Everything's closed book as well. That's why I'm a little bit stressed because I don't have access to any of my notes for any of those exams. And there's four of them. There's two, one after the other in the first week and two, one after the other in the second week. And then I think I have, because it will be beginning of November, then I think I have probably be about, I've got to work out logistics with everyone. But then I think I have about a week left in Palmy, and then I leave. Um, I'm then be in, I'll be in Auckland for a little bit 
catching up with people there, uh, spending time with my parents, my sisters, and then I fly out on the 21st. So, it's all systems go from here, uh, which is a wee bit terrifying. Um, and if by whatever reason I don't get in uh, to Dundee, I'm just going to use, I'm still going to go, but I'm just going to use that three months as a holiday and then come back uh, to start the new year. So, I'm still going to fly over, just it depends on how long I stay. That's the question. But I am going to go set myself up in at my desk. Possibly make a cup of tea if I feel like I need it. Um, and yeah, uh, get some stuff done. And then, man, I'll try and record some of it right now again. I keep doing this to myself. Uh, my phone is plugged in to my computer because it's exporting um, and I don't want to disconnect it just in case uh, but it's also in the case which means I can't put it in the tripod yet so once this is finished exporting then I can record some uh, like I think it's called b-roll um, of me just doing some uni stuff, maybe some knitting, hopefully some knitting, editing, that sort of stuff. Got a wee bit cleaning today, as I said at the beginning, but it's mostly, what is it? Unloading and reloading the tumble dryer multiple times and folding things and putting them away multiple times, basically. Because everything else I did yesterday. Um, I've already dealt with the dishwasher, that is done, reloaded, I just need tonight's stuff and it will go on tonight and then I will do the washing up once we've eaten. So, I've been talking for over 10 minutes, I'm going to go get started, otherwise I think at this point I'm just procrastinating, so we're going to fix that.
hello um it is now oh that's bright sorry i'm just grabbing some stuff um 4 30 and i finished a bunch of uni stuff i'm constantly fighting with these doors um <laughs> so finished that i need to get some stuff for dinner i need to i keep forgetting i go into the kitchen and I keep forgetting. I need to get burgers out of the freezer. But I need to go get burger buns. Um, some more frozen chips. And I'm going to see how much burger sauce is. And see if I want to get that. But definitely I need burger buns and I need chips. Um, so... I need to do that it, it's not raining anymore it's actually really sunny so i'm gonna go now i was thinking about do i go before or after i do my workout but i think i'm gonna go now just because it's actually sunny it's not raining i'm less likely to get rained on so i'm going to go now um and then i'll do my exercise when i get back and then once when that's done I have a video to upload and another one to edit but we're getting things done I've done multiple loads of drying and folding and putting away so we are getting through that I'm on the second to last load um yeah oh um sorry that just reminded me of something just because of the noise from the house creaking but um, we had an earthquake, uh, nothing major, we're fine, uh, we get them quite frequently, a very minor one that lasted maybe five seconds, um, the way I actually kind of realised it was happening was the noise of the house creaking, and then a little bit of a shake, but then that was it, so, we've had an earthquake today too, but yeah, as I said, uh, being down this end of the country, it's quite common uh not bad ones we have had a couple of ones where they did have there was earthquake damage uh but that's not very common uh thankfully i'm very thankful for that but little shakes here and there yeah we just you know we just we just carry on we kind of stop assess if we need to move normally by the time you come to the conclusion of maybe I should, um, it stopped, so, yeah, um, I, I, it would have stopped by the time I got out of my chair to go underneath a table, because I couldn't really go under my desk, to be perfectly honest, but I could, but it's not very stable, it's more likely to collapse on me, so I'd probably have to go to the dining room, and by the time I probably left the room I was in, the shaking would have stopped, so, it's fine. But yeah, I'm going to put some shoes on. I'm going to pop up the road and get what we need for dinner. It's also nice to just go for a bit of a walk. I've not been outside today because rain. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go to the shop. And then um, when we get back, I will we'll win. I say we just me when I get back um I'll do some exercise and then probably edit the next video and get the the one that's already done uploaded um yeah we're getting there we are slowly getting there hopefully I well I'm gonna try and go to bed at a decent time tonight so that when I wake up tomorrow I wake up at a not chaotic crazy I've got to rush and get to class time but I actually have time to record so we'll see we'll see this is final week coming into the final week of uni for the year final week of teaching uh actually no teaching was last week final week of classes for the year and then I have until, because I'm switching hemispheres, I have until 
beginning of January is when I start again. So I have a month and a bit of nothing uni related. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm going to feel like I don't know what to do with my life. Normally I would work, but um, I'm probably going to be leaving soon after I finish exams. So I probably won't be working um, unless I get like a part-time job. But then I'm be moving around so much for the first month. It's probably not, not going to be beneficial or feasible at all, actually. Um, and then I'd most likely have to stop, um, depending on how much, you know, depending on if what I get, uh, from like my student loan and stuff is enough to cover. It should be based on, uh, the budgeting I did, but things could change. And so if I don't need to work, I will stop so that I can focus on studies um, otherwise I'll get, like, a weekend, probably, um, like a Saturday or something, but we'll see, um, and yes, I do have the legal right to work in the UK, I am a UK citizen, I have a UK passport, and so, yes, um, there is no weird visa situations around that, um, and I'm pretty sure as well on the student visa you can work a certain amount of hours, um, but yeah, technically, if I really wanted to, I could work full time. I could get an internship. Um, will I? No, because trying to work full time and study full time is basically impossible. I know some people have done it, but I, I, I can't. Um, but yeah, so, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there um, if I think I need to work or not. Um, but yes, it'll be weird. This will be the first I'm gonna say summer because it'll be summer here in New Zealand but basically Christmas period end of year period that I've not been working so for the last four years five years something like that uh because even though we don't we're not open uh from like Christmas day until like, the second week I think we open again of January um we still work over that holiday period. So up until and then after New Year's. But I won't be this year. Um, it doesn't mean I don't have as long of a break in the sense of uni because I start like almost two months earlier than my, uh, my I guess, I don't know if colleagues is the right word. Um, the rest of my cohort basically here um, they don't start until the end of February and I start at the beginning of January so but then I also have a big break in the middle of the year where they would have their mid-semester like two to three week break and I have some holidays in the middle there so you know you win some you lose some um but that's fine. It'll be an adjustment. It'll be weird go having winter. Like it's one of the thing one of those things where like it it will in the sense of that for the last twenty years I've been used to December, December, January, February being summer. I've had my birthday in summer. But also I'm so used to talking to my family in the UK about weather at the time that doesn't seem quite so weird but then I'm not there at the moment it I might find it quite weird when I'm actually in it so it'll be interesting anyway I'm gonna go to the shop before it gets too late and before it decides to rain on me again because that's not fun and it came down pretty hard so I'm gonna go get that go get stuff for dinner and get the burgers out of the freezer before I forget hello it is now seven o'clock or just before seven um, I'm cooking dinner, I've done my exercise, I've been to the shop, and now, well, I'm going to get cleaned up and changed, and then, after dinner, I can knit, um, so hopefully I'll be able to do some of that, I've got some editing to do, um, 
Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, the weather doesn't know really what it wants to do. The sun's going down, so it's looking quite bright, but also it's every now and again just like torrential rain. So, we don't know. But, um, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah. So, dinner's currently cooking. Um, I'm going to go get changed out of this and get cleaned up. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else there is to say. Um, so I just noticed shoes where they don't belong. Uh, they're not mine. Um, I'll need to move them. Anyway, because I'm going to trip on them and they're steel caps. But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I don't, <laughs> typical Sunday evening, really. Um, I did my, a lot of my reset stuff, really, yesterday, because I did that big clean. Um, so now, it's just, yeah, getting ready for the week ahead. Um, as I said, uh, this is last week of classes for the semester, and so last week for the year. Um, and then there's study break and then exams. So pretty intense from here on out, but we will get through it. John's found something funny, obviously. I don't know if you heard that. Anyway, I am going to, yeah, go get changed and maybe try and knit while I'm waiting for dinner. Either I'll start it, or either that or I'll start editing. I don't know yet. Hello, excuse the tumble dryer. It's I'm in. I'm at my desk, uh, and the only place we could put the tumble dryer is right over there. So sorry about the noise, but I need to dry my towels. Anyway, um, the reason why I'm here, I'm stuck here, is. Uh, again the whole tethering situation so I have just uploaded a vlog I've just edited another one that one is currently exporting which is why I am currently plugged in but in that time well I knit on this while I was catching up on some uni related things earlier but I finished the sock I am just finishing this is the last end I have to weave in and then we're done September Sock Squad, done. Um, I will cast on Octobers. I don't know when, possibly tomorrow after I get home from uni. I don't know, either that or I might do it Tuesday maybe. Don't think I'll get time to do it tonight. Um, I'm finishing up here and then I need to go wash up. And then I'm going to have some knitting time and wind down and then um go to bed so yeah that's where we're at so I don't don't know if I'll record me doing the dishes but I'll try and record me knitting and then I will sign off and we will um yeah oh uh, then I'll just yeah I'll sign off and then we'll get back to it tomorrow I need to help my oops I'm trying to do this. this is falling. I need to uh, sort my tumble dryer out because um, it's not turning. So I'm going to go fix that. So, uh, more computer drama. I have finished doing the washing up and I kept checking back and on the video that was exporting. And it was doing fine. And then I went back and it said it couldn't do it so I went to I well I closed the software opened, up, opened it up again and then it said it couldn't locate the videos which basically I just had to go back and like relink so I had to open up my file manager again and select it but it kept trying to tell me despite my phone being plugged in that it wasn't there um 
and generally when my computer starts doing stuff like that it's because it needs an update so it's now updating and I will have to deal with the video tomorrow because it is now quarter past nine I'm tired so I'm gonna try and do some knitting I may even climb into bed and do it um, and then I'm gonna go to sleep because it's getting really late um, so this may be the last time I speak to you I don't know if I'll uh, like do a quick uh, talking bit after I've done my knitting I might just end it there um, so if I don't see you until tomorrow thank you for joining me have a good night and I will see you tomorrow um, if I do then maybe I'll cut this bit out I don't know I'll see when I go to edit but I'm gonna move myself to the other room I think and like to the bed to bedroom climb into bed and get ready to go to sleep the computer drama never ends so <laughs> we'll get there someday I'm sure I'm sure we'll get there someday but now I said the chores are done kitchen's done now we're getting ready to go to sleep because I do have to get up for an 8am class tomorrow and I want to record before I go so again if I don't see you before then have a good night otherwise um well you'll know <laughs> but thank you for being here today